Hi Felicia, my name is Kyle. I just wanted to reach out and make you a video that can bring you into business some value. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can personally optimize your website to where you can drive in traffic and generate leads for your business. So I have a few tips I want to share with you today. My first tip is going to be content and keywords. Now what Google cares about is not how awesome the website looks. They care about what kind of content's on the page. Google, they like to see a lot of content, and the websites with the most content are going to be the ones with the most authority on the topic. Google wants to give its users everything that they need when they click on a website. So I recommend that you have at least 1,500 words of content on your home page alone. And inside that content, it's very important that you have buyer intent keywords. What a buyer intent keyword is essentially what people are searching for in the Google search bar. We use this tool called AREFs. It is a paid tool. It buys data from Google. And one of the features that allows us to look for these buyer intent keywords. I just, I just looked up electrician in Denver. You know, just a couple of examples that keywords that should be in the content. That way when Google scans your page, they can find these keywords and they rank you accordingly. So you have an electrician Denver being searched 600 times a month. Electrician Denver CO 450 times a month. I mean, just these three key words here is being searched 1,300 times a month. Now, and I also looked up uh, electrical Denver. I mean, you have electrical companies in Denver 300 times a month. Commercial electrical Denver another 200 times a month. So there's all sorts of keywords that you can put inside your content. And on and including, you're going to want to find keywords for your service areas as well and the services that you provide. So there's all sorts of keywords you can put in your content so when Google scans your page, they find you for that and rank you accordingly. Another way you can use these keywords is making sure that all of your pictures are saved correctly. So right now when Google scans your page, they're seeing this, this picture saved as 1U2A6568. Instead, you could have it, I would save it as your business name and one of the buyer intent keywords. So I'd have it saved as Red Fox Electric Electrician in Denver, Colorado. Now my next tip for you is going to be backlinks. Backlinks are also just as important. It's what gives your website power. A backlink is there are links throughout the web that when clicked on it will bring the user back to your website. It's almost like having a popularity contest. The person with the most backlinks usually wins. Google is now starting to lean more towards quality versus quantity. Google wants to see backlinks that are relevant to you. They want to see backlinks come in from say other electrical websites, electrician websites, home improvement websites. Google doesn't want to see backlinks coming from say Pizza Hut. Well, you're not a food company, so the more relevant the better. Now, Ares also lets us uh, see what's going on behind the scenes of these websites. And I do want to mention there are free tools that you can use. If you just Google a backlink checker or keyword finder, you can find the free tools you need to be able to do this yourself. So this is Red Fox Electric. This is their website, your website at the moment. So you have a URL rating of three. That's how powerful the website is. Domain rating of zero. That's how trustworthy the website is. You want these two numbers as close together as possible. Uh, you want to shoot for a ratio of one. Zero organic traffic coming onto the website each month. Google is not finding any buyer intent keywords on the website. You do have six referring domains giving you a total of seven backlinks. Now, I, I just pulled up the Google search bar and I typed in um, electrical contractors in Denver. And this is a Piper Electric Company. He is in the number one spot on the organic listing. And as you can see, he has tons of content on his home page. And you can even see that his, his buyer intent keywords in his content. Electrical contractor Denver. You have electrician in Denver, electricians in Denver. So he has his buyer intent keywords in place, so Google's finding them and ranking them appropriately for that. Um, now, for the backlinks, so we looked up his website. He has a URL rating of 39. That's how powerful the website is. Domain rating of 26, the trust factor. He has 1,900 people coming onto his website each month. And even if 10% of that turns into a job lead, that's a lot of, that's a lot of extra job leads each month. Google's finding 1,300 organic keywords, or those buyer intent keywords I keep mentioning. And it's 348 referring domains, giving him a total of 1,881 backlinks. So he has good quality backlinks on his website. And if these backlinks are good enough to rank him to the top, they'd be good enough to take your website to the top as well, as long as you have your content and keywords in place. So how do you get these backlinks? You just go into the referring domains, and each and every one of these websites once it loads, I apologize. 
So each one of these websites here has a link linking people back to their website. And you can do the exact same thing with yours. Just go into each individual site. Some, you just might have to go to the con contact us, email the owner. They might hit you back with a small fee to be able to advertise. Others, you're just going to have to create a profile and you can add your website in that way. Now my last tip for you is get to the number one spot of the Google Map Pack. And that's this area here. In my opinion, it's one of the best spots to be in. If you're anything like me, you're trying to find a service you never used before, you're probably going to use Google to search for it. Say, I live in Denver, but I don't know any electricians. You know, I might search, I might search uh, electricians contractor in Denver. This is going to be one of the first thing that pops up, and immediately I'm going to see Collins Electric LLC, 36 reviews, five stars. You know, almost a no-brainer. I'm going to call these people first. So how do you get to this spot here? Well, you need more citations than them. And all a citation is is your business name, your business address, and your business phone number listed in directories throughout the web. Some examples of a directory would be like Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau. Even social media is considered a directory nowadays. So I hope this was helpful for you. You know, just a quick recap. You can corner your market in your areas just by getting 1,500, 2,000 words of content on your homepage with those buyer intent keywords. Get all the backlinks your competition has and get them linking back to you. And finally, add your business name, your business address, and your business phone number all spelled exactly the same all across the internet and more directories than your competition has. If you follow these three tips, you will generate more traffic to your website, which in turn will generate more leads for your business. So again, I do hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you're more than welcome to reach out to us. Our phone number is 480-605-0508. Thanks for watching, Felicia.